Hey everyone, today I am going to be drilling wheat poles in all of the cinder blocks and I already kind of started the process to see how it would go and it seems like it's going pretty quickly which is great. So I got from there down by the sump pump over to here and that's where I stopped and uh, some of these, like where you can see the water staining, uh, did have some water uh, come out when I drilled the hole. So, let's go continue down the line. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing. It's pretty simple. <coughs> I ended up getting a long drill bit from Harbor Freight. There was a three pack for like 15 bucks. Three different sizes. This is the largest size that came in the pack. It's, I think it's like half an inch. Yeah, half an inch. And it's a Harbor Freight uh, uh, hammer drill. So nothing fancy here. And basically, I'm getting as low as I possibly can while trying to still drill a reasonably straight uh, hole and I am going about just estimating um, where the third way points in the block are so roughly there and roughly there and then we'll just drill a hole. Biggest challenge here is working around all the stuff. Alright, and we're just going to keep going down the line. I'll let you watch a few more, but I'm not going to make you watch all of it because it's just repetitive.
I can get this one down here. Water heater's in the way for doing the other side of that block. Yeah. Like I said, there you got a quarter of the basement done. So I'll keep working on it. I'm guessing this side will have some uh, more water pouring out, but uh, yeah, that's uh, what I'm going to be working on. <clears throat> Alright, so I was going to end the video, but uh, over on these, I started drilling them, and uh, a couple of them had quite a bit of water. You can see that there was so much pressure, it started uh, spraying out onto the floor. So I figured I'd drill a few more, and maybe you can catch that along with me here. Oh yeah, look at all that water. Just wanted to come back and show you that uh, I got all the holes drilled. So go along this wall, along the back wall. So I thought there was going to be a lot of water pouring out of this one, this uh, section of wall, but there's only a little. Not very much came out of what was over here. I was expecting more water spots over here, but uh, you can see the ones that water actively came out of. And the sidewall, not much came out of that. But as we came to this front wall, almost every hole I drilled spewed out water, which I was not expecting. And it also continued spewing water through this little crawl space area when I drilled the holes. And that's interesting because that crawl space is pretty much protected by a walkway. You know, I came into here, a few of these spewed water on the front wall, and uh, I did move everything, and absolutely nothing came out of this side wall. Well, this side wall is the side wall where the driveway is, so. That doesn't totally surprise me that it's staying pretty dry. But uh, yeah, I was not expecting that front wall to be as wet as it was. But uh, I have a feeling making these uh, weep holes is gonna make a huge difference in uh, keeping the block and the basement itself dry. Um, ultimately the Real solution would be to waterproof the exterior of the walls, but that is a big, expensive ordeal. So we're going to do the best we can to damp-proof the interior, and uh, yeah, I think I'm good for now. So we'll let this dry up and come back another day. So thanks for watching, everyone.